what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog it's friday it's almost 6 p.m i just freshened up my skincare a little bit because i actually have a friend's birthday dinner tonight and i just basically woke up from a two-hour nap like 30 minutes ago so i just needed to like freshen myself up wake up a little bit it's been kind of a busy week avery and i were away this weekend well it wasn't really this weekend it was more like sunday through wednesday and so we had such a good time it was just nice to like escape the city um we had a bunch of like fun things we were doing two birthdays we celebrated out there but by the time we got back it just felt like we had so much catching up to do and so i'm feeling a little tired and it's like i'm still catching up from the weekend as well because we were obviously like being really social but yeah, we went away, we took a little holiday, and then now we're back. I've just kind of been getting my life together the last two days. It's gonna be a really busy few weeks. Um, August has been so busy with work, and obviously now with my coaching program, I've been busy with that too, and so I'm kind of like trying to find the balance of when to do what. Sorry, I know the lighting is like weird when I put you in there. I wanted to like not necessarily apologize, but just give you a heads up that for the next few weeks, my videos might be a little bit not as scheduled as they normally would be. I'm trying my best to get a video out every week, but um, I also knew we weren't going to vlog in the Hamptons. I knew that I probably wasn't going to be able to get a video out this week. So just bear with me. I'm trying to like figure out how to plan everything accordingly in my schedule and still be as present as possible. So yeah, that's why I'm picking up a vlog on Friday afternoon and we're gonna try and make the best of it. I'm gonna go out and get some groceries right now because I am having a couple of girls events at my apartment this weekend. I'm having Mel over tomorrow night. We're gonna cook dinner together. Um, so I'm gonna get ingredients for that and then I'm also having the little girls brunch on Sunday, which I'm super excited for. It's just gonna be like the three of us, but I wanna make a cute little brunch spread, you know? So. I'm gonna get, I think I'm just gonna get the dinner ingredients now so that I don't have to do the groceries tomorrow and then Sunday morning I'll go out and get the brunch ingredients, I think. We're also gonna go to the farmer's market tomorrow so there's certain things that I just wanna get really fresh, like eggs and fruit, things like that. Also, it's so funny, I posted that I was listening to the Scamanda podcast in my last vlog and I got some comments from you guys. Someone said that they thought it was too long. I kind of agree with you. I feel like they could have co probably covered it in like four episodes, but I and I ended up liking it. I mean, it's just a crazy story all around, but I've been realizing that I need some podcasts that are just like chatty and not educational or not true crime. It's so bad, but I love the educational ones and I obviously love true crime. It's one of my favorite things to, to watch and to consume. But now that I'm in this program and I'm taking classes pretty much every day for like an hour, hour and a half, sometimes more, sometimes I take like three classes in a day, I just feel like I need something to listen to that's not stimulating, you know? It's just like people talking. So if you guys have any good recommendations, I would love to, um, I would love to have those. For my grocery haul then I discovered this little guy in the corner we had so many of these little fuckers in the apartment lately and I think it's because of the construction but yeah I mean these are harmless but it's just annoying to have to kill them all the time <laughs> okay the bug has been taken care of this is my little grocery haul for dinner tomorrow and then I also picked up the smoked salmon for brunch on Sunday Speaking of salmon, I have only been buying sockeye salmon lately, both for like smoked salmon and just the regular one that I'd put in the oven. It's kind of one of those things that I always knew, but I think 
more recently I've just been seeing so many bad things about farmed salmon and unfortunately when you're buying Atlantic salmon, so this is wild sockeye, but when you're buying the Atlantic salmon it's pretty much always farmed and so I'm trying to like stay away from that. So I've just been buying this one. Today I got it from Trader Joe's but sometimes I'll go to Whole Foods and buy it. But yeah, this is for breakfast and then all of this is for tomorrow. Mel and I are going to be making a homemade like bonza pasta recipe. I will link it down below and I will obviously show you guys more of it tomorrow. But these are some of the ingredients I got. Some rosemary, parmesan, and oh yeah, I also got some cucumbers for Avery. But yeah, I'm excited to make this tomorrow. It's a little bit early to start getting ready for dinner, but I think... I'm just gonna do it anyway. I can kind of just like chill and figure out where I have to go. So glad that I blow dried my hair yesterday because now I can just touch it up and I only have to worry about my makeup. I do probably have to redo it tomorrow. I have to shoot some um, photos for my agency in Miami. They sent me two bras and like a matching underwear for this client. So I'm gonna wake up early, take those pictures, um, and just like get that done before the weekend. Also, I think I was telling you guys in my last vlog that I was having issues with my shark. And they actually sent me a brand new one because they just couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. And I think it was just like a defected model maybe, but I got it like a couple days ago and I just blow dried my hair with it for the first time and it is it, it just feels different from the first one that I got it's so fast it's so powerful and I just pray to God that it's going to be working like this for the foreseeable future so that's really exciting I also have a couple of new things that I've been using that I wanted to share so the first one is this these pawpaw sponges I got these from Amazon they're very similar to the beauty blender which if you guys have watched me do my makeup before, I love a beauty blender, but they get dirty really quickly and they're 20 bucks each. And so I just like didn't want to be throwing out a $20 sponge every other week. So I've been using these and I really like them. I actually kind of like them better than a beauty blender. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, I'll link these below if you guys are interested. I also got us a new cleanser from the shower. I used this a couple months ago. I fell in love with it and then I saw how expensive it was and I was like, there's no way I'm spending this much money. But I just realized that honestly, this is gonna last a long time. This is their regular size bottle. This one's $30, $38. And then they have a like a bigger value size bottle, which is 60. So I figured I would start with this one and see if we actually like it. Um, and then by the time this runs out, I will probably end up buying the value size like on Black Friday or something. Usually I save a lot of these big purchases for Black Friday, like always stock up on skincare. Um, and yeah, like this is just one of those things that I would buy, but yeah, I really like this one. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new cleanser and you want to treat yourself, then I definitely recommend that one. And then I also have two other little things i was kind of due for a new moisturizer and i had a makeup artist use this on set recently um so i wanted to try this one out it's a pretty small bottle i don't know why it's not focusing this is from first aid beauty i've had the bigger tub version but this one is lighter and um another reason why i like this is because it's good for travel and i'm going to be traveling quite a lot in september for work so i just got this one i don't know if it's like the most bang for your buck necessarily just because it's like a smaller size bottle but a little bit does go a long way you just actually need like one pump and then you're good and then the last thing that i got is this vitamin c serum it's from timeless i have been like on um skincare reddit if you guys are into reddit i know it's like there's a dark side of reddit but then there's also like an amazing side of reddit which i love i just think it's so informative and I don't know like unfortunately I feel like nowadays with social media you can't always trust people who talk about skincare because a lot of it is incentivized and people get paid to promote stuff and so sometimes you just want to like you just want to get down to the real stuff and the, the stuff that works and so this was the most recommended vitamin C serum 
and this is the 20% vitamin C ferulic acid and vitamin E apparently they also have a 10% but I couldn't find it so I was like, I'm just gonna try it. If it doesn't work for my skin, then I'll return it. I don't wanna say it tingles when you put it on, but you do kind of feel a certain like mild sensation when you put it on, so just be aware of that. I think it's because of the 20% vitamin C. It's pretty strong, but yeah, I've just been using this. I've been trying to use it like every morning, um, and then I always put on sunscreen after. finally decided on an outfit I feel like this is always the hardest part for me <laughs> I am wearing these white jeans that are from Revolve these are my favorite fit and style they're from girlfriend denim and I did actually get them taken in which you can kind of see at the back but I honestly don't even care they're so comfortable um, and then I am actually wearing a lot of Revolve stuff tonight um, I'm wearing this black little blousey top, it's kind of scandalous. Um, also from Revolve, it's one of my favorite brands, it's called Academy, and their stuff is just really good quality. I will be fully transparent, I got both of things, these items gifted. I don't want you guys to think that you always need to be buying new stuff, getting new stuff. If it wasn't for my job and this being like such a perk for me, I probably wouldn't have as many options as I do. Uh, but yeah, I will have both of these linked down below. This is definitely more of a summer vibe But you could definitely wear this in the fall if you wanted to. But yeah, I do feel like both of these are pretty Staple items to have a good pair of white jeans and then like this little black blouse. My sandals are actually from Steve Madden I'm gonna try and zoom in on them. These are my favorite summer sandals that I've ever found. They're so comfortable so affordable They kind of have that Hermes Look to them. So I just love these the reason why I wanted to go for a black look tonight is because I just got this in the mail yesterday. This is from Songmont and I don't know if I vlogged it. I might have vlogged it. I definitely did a TikTok about it, but they actually sent me this bag in a white, like kind of creamy color and I love it. And then they actually invited me to come to their show in September. So they sent me this bag to bring to the show, but I obviously can't wait until then. So I'm gonna actually wear this tonight. I have to cut off the tags, but this is gonna be my little outfit for dinner. Hey guys, it's the next evening. It's almost 7 p.m. And I had a little bit of a change in plans. I was supposed to have Mel over tonight. We were gonna cook pasta together, but she ended up having to do a rain check on that so she's actually coming tomorrow night instead yeah i didn't really have a lot to vlog today i just went to pilates this morning and then i got brunch with my friend sarah who i haven't seen in a little while and then i just kind of came back here and did some stuff around the house i was originally like i'm just gonna pick it up tomorrow but then i actually ended up getting all of my groceries for breakfast tomorrow i kind of already figured out what i want to do for breakfast tomorrow i'm gonna keep it pretty simple but I did want to add something fun to it and I kind of wanted to bake something. So I was like, maybe I'll just make a lemon poppy seed loaf because I still have a ton of poppy seeds and I pretty much have all the ingredients to make the loaf. And I just figured it would be a fun, like end of summer baked good to have. Um, also something that's like relatively easy to do. So I thought I would take you guys through that. I've only made this like twice before so I'm not like super familiar with the recipe, but it I think it's pretty straightforward from what I remember. So I am actually gonna I'm gonna put all the rest of the ingredients in the fridge and then we're gonna bake. So 
So I just put the sugar and the lemon zest in a bowl together. What I really like about this recipe is that it tells you to rub the lemon zest and the sugar together and it actually helps the zest to release and infuse into the sugar and it just creates the best flavor ever. So I highly recommend doing that. I'm actually using two different types of sugar only because I ran out of the plain cane sugar so I'm using a darker sugar. It should work the same. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the original recipe down below and any substitutions that I'm making I will write up for you guys so you know. Somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour, I'm gonna do a little toothpick test at 45 minutes and then see where we're at. Hey, let's see. Here's my beautiful loaf. I'm so excited to slice it. I think I'm gonna do savory and sweet, but I think I'm just gonna cut the loaf and put it on this cutting board. It's like... <laughs> We use this thing for multiple multiple different things. I was thinking of putting some slices like this and then having some berries all around it um, just to have it look cute. And then I'm gonna be doing some mini avocado toast, eggs, hash browns. My little loaf. It's not focusing, but turned out pretty good. I'm gonna try a bite. girls have left and I just uploaded all my clips from the last few days to my computer so I can edit this tonight. I totally forgot to vlog when Mel was over. She came right after Hilda and Shivani left and so I have no footage of the pasta whatsoever but I feel like you guys have seen enough food in this vlog anyway so I will film that for you guys another time. It actually turned out really good. So anyway, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I still have to pack for tomorrow and I just want to like shower and blow out my hair for the week. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.